Pokemon Run. Hey, it's Mom and Matt time. I'm Matt. I might be Matt. And we're joined by Ken. <laughs> and going live on Facebook. Yeah. There we go. Due to legal purposes, I cannot confirm or deny that I am also Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you saw on Facebook, I posted a little bit ago, we had a special announcement, so we'll get that out of the way right now with Ken here on us with us. Uh, this is our 150th episode of Mom with the Mats. Careful, man. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> 150 episodes, wow. Yes, I counted up all the ones we had on Facebook, and all the ones we've had on YouTube, and all that, and I made sure we didn't cross-pollinate anywhere, and uh, yeah, we have 100, this is our 150th episode. Wow, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here with us. That's awesome. Ging, ging, ging. Ging, ging, ging. So. August 24th, 2022 is the oldest one I can see on, uh, on YouTube, Facebook. YouTube. On YouTube, yes. That's almost two years ago. I can't believe that. It's like one year ago. I'm like, no, it's definitely longer than a year. Yeah. So yeah, so we're... we had the overhead cam then. I guess we didn't do the singular, you know, right on on our YouTube. No, we couldn't do that on that. So there's the chat. I thought it said to give me a poll. Let me get that launched on my computer. Keep forgetting that I'm real close to finishing the triple black Cuda, but I don't work on it. Unless I'm filming. Gotcha. And like, it's pretty much, it's almost as, just as done as this this one is. I just haven't gotten it. Very little have I spent at home working. I get most of my work done here. Every, every, when I'm home, I got too much other crap to do. But... I totally agree. I, and, get, and I get most of my work done on Wednesday nights yeah. for some strange reason. And this is not like my only hobby either, so I like to rotate them in and out. Well, let's see. I have if you've seen on uh, Facebook. I've completed the P sixty one, and it is already shelf queening inside my display case. <laughs> uh, the F one eleven is in the display case now. Free. So got them done and out of the way. Uh, let's see. So uh, yeah, and I got one of my F fifteens done. So I'm pretty jazzed about that. So I'm ready to do some decal tonight, Declan Markin, whatever you want to call it. So I get that taken care of. I got, let's see, I did some work on the Shelby. I primed the body on that. So hopefully that's going to be probably next week I'll do that. And yeah, we're, we're cranking right along. So hello, George. Welcome. Thank you. That's great. He says, happy 150th, Matt. So. Hey, George. George plays hooky from work. Yes, to come and join us. <laughs> I thought this glass had a hole in it. It's still the rear view mirror. But yeah, so, you know. Hey, there's Corey. So, welcome, Corey. We're each having our celebratory beers tonight. Hey, Corey. So. Actually, can say tonight tonight's uh, tonight's 100th episode brought to you by uh, Yingling Flight. Uh, if you like like beer, this beats anything that comes out of a Clydesdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really hard to beat a Clydesdale beer. So yeah. Say if you're any if you're diabetic, it is carb friendly. I believe it's 2.6 gra uh, grams of carbs. Yes. Per can. So, yeah, we like that. Let's see, this one, let's see, the 12-ouncer is, yeah, yes, 2.6 grams carbs. So, we like that, must 95 per, calories. Must be per serving, then, because it can't be per 12 fluid ounce. Well, okay. I think. So, yes. I say it can't be the same between a pint and a 12, or it doesn't really make any sense. 
There's more beer per beer. Yes, exactly. So, so yes. Okay. Well, I, well, I was wrong. I thought this glass had a hole in it for the rear view mirror. It does not have a hole in it for the rear view mirror. But there's a peg on the rear view mirror. And we love, we love how we're spreading the, the love of scale modeling and getting it to grow. I counted the other day. We're up to seven people who have never modeled that are now into it because of what we do. Oh, yeah? Yes. That's good. Yes. That's, that's awesome. Yes. That's great. So, two doofuses, you know, jacking around yeah. <laughs> on camera trying to figure that's out how to do stuff. And Jack of all offs. Mm -hmm. I believe was the phrase. Mm. I think, was that, I don't remember where I heard that. Was it Jim? No. It's the mod. George says it's the model of, model of the Matt's approved beer. Yeah, I mean for real, I don't, I don't drink hard <laughs> unless I can't get it. I don't drink anything other than flight now. Yeah, we've only had it here for what? Over, uh, a little over a year now. A little over a year, yeah. So it was, I think, February last year or early March when I had like. When the regular the regular lager was available, right, and then for a while you couldn't find flight at all. But I heard the St. Louis area was eight percent total sales of Yingling, really like nationwide, <laughs> because that was in the peak of the the Bud Light the, scandal, yeah, -ish. yeah, scandal ish. So everyone they were switching to that. I know one of my coworkers. He that's all he, he used to drink. That was the only thing he would drink was Bud Light, and then he switched to Flight because of the stupid crap in the news. I think his words were, "This body was built on Bud Light." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, there's, who can tell? All right, time to glue on. I'll say the only bummer, I mean, this is a match, uh, well, I don't know if it's a match versus Cuda kit, but it's the same kit. This is this particular box that he advertises the Nash Bridges one. In the show, he didn't have a turtle top cover on it. It was just like the top down. I don't know how you would make that into the kit to not have this. Oh. So I think they just took the easy route out when they made the kit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Only the fanatics of the uh, fanatic car guys of the show would be like, "Hey, like, hey, he didn't have a, he didn't have the cover on it. He just rolled with it, tucked in the thing." Yeah. <laughs> All right, I need. Where is my metal straight edge? A metal straight edge and. Me Hanging off the. There it is. Yeah. Gale. Let's see. Anybody in the chat? You can join us on Skype. You can follow us at Mono with the Mats on Facebook. There we have our YouTube link. We have our uh, Facebook link. You can join us on Skype through there as well. Be part of the conversation here in just a little bit. Oh, it's almost 8 o'clock. So probably here in just a little bit, we're going to do a little modeling first. But tonight we have our uh, only foods 17. It's tonight's foods. Tonight's foods. So we are some, uh, we are some, uh, let's see, we are some music aficionados. And uh, we have a bracket system where we will be doing, uh, Songs with food in them against each other. So. Oh, what's that? Where'd that come from? Uh, probably underneath. We're probably holding, like, probably that. That's all right. Just put offside. I'll see what's going on. It fell off to my right. Oh, okay. I'll say, and for legal reasons, we can't call it a. 
what March Madness it was. Right. We cannot call. We cannot refer to anything we dealing can't call with it a sweet no, not sweet sixteen. We can't. We can't call it a sweet sixteen. Correct. Is March Madness co- a copyrighted or trademark? It is. I believe Sweet Sixteen is that wow. is yeah. is copyrighted. Sweet Sixteen's copyrighted. Elite Eight is copyrighted, and Final Four is copyrighted. Oh my god! Yeah, that's crazy. So was anybody surprised that UConn won it all? Uh, no. Yeah, me neither. I was. It was kind of cool. Like, oh, they're the first team to back to back since two thousand six, seven, or whatever. That was kind of cool. Alright. Let's say I had I did the Casey's March Bandness and only missed nine total out of the what, sixty four? Yeah. Wow. Nice job. My final four was right. I picked the wrong winner. Zeppelin would take ACDC, but a lot of the mo- I think all the ones I picked, I'm like, ah, I shouldn't have done that. Because I have the problem where there's what I want to win and what I know the St. Louis area will pick to win. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times I'll not think, like, oh, wait a minute, this town's a big rush town. Oh, I didn't think about the Kansas area. A little too short. And can I fix it? No. no. So we gotta deal with it. <clears throat> now measure once, cut twice. Yeah. Not in this house. No. Yep. Uh, make 15 mistakes because you're not paying attention? Yeah, that's more like it. I cut it three times, it's still too short. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Get that in there. All right, let's go. Let's get that in there. Get that in there first. Well, I guess I'll do the, on this week's segment of kits I didn't need but got anyway. Ooh, all right. My, yeah, I'm dying to hear what you got, so man. My best, my <laughs> best man slash friend of 30 years was out of Hobby Lobby the other weekend. And he got me a Ravel Oldsmobile 71 442. Nice. Uh, he, Ooh, sent me a pic- he sent me the picture thanks. of the wall of models. And he, I'm like, oh, I only... I circled like I want I, I want this one or this one because they're on the list. <laughs> and then I broke down and eBayed, bought the Ravel '69 Dodge Daytona for thirty bucks, nice. cheapest I've ever seen it online. Ooh. It hasn't really been started. Oh, I think they cool. they cut the wheels off the sprue and put them in the tires, and that's it. Everything else is in there. Nice. I unboxed it uh, today, and I, the glass was laying in there loose, so I put that in a baggie so it doesn't get uh, scratched up. So, gotcha. I think that will uh, relieve me from considering doing the AMP one. Very nice. Corey says, "Miss a cut, change the design to fit." I don't know what that was in oh. reference to. Oh, miss the cut. Ch- change the design then, to fit it. So. Oh, I right. Can't, yeah, I can't can't do that. Yeah, there's only so many liberties uh-huh. we can take. Well, the thing is, the reason why I gotta cut the decals is because I gotta change the number on it. You gotta change the number? Yeah, because it's the same kit. 
and you can't have two jets of the same serial oh, number. Oh, yeah, that won't fly. Yeah. The river counters that the nationals will come and get me. They'll be like, you cannot do this. <laughs> I don't know why I speak Russian, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the river counters all members of KGB. Yes. <laughs> they are the Boris and Natasha. Yes, they will they will get you. They will take care of you. Yeah. I can't do that. Moose and squirrel. Yeah, moose right. and squirrel. Yes. <laughs> George says, great cars. My buddy in college actually had a 71. Yeah, 442? Yeah. It's basically a Chevelle. It's the same, it's the same platform like the, oh, the 442 and the Buick GSX and the Chevelle all pretty much the same car. Like the bumpers and some of the trims different, <laughs> but... Same chassis, same wheelbase, and everything. Pretty much. I mean, a little different you put parts. them up side by side, they all look the same. Corey goes, tried building a table, ended up building a coat rack. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that's a supernatural reference, I don't know what he's talking about. I do have the supernatural Impala kit in the stash, AMP, but in the stash. George says, no kits this week. He said, did you get a dual fan spray booth? Old one was almost in... Oh, he he did. He got a dual Ooh, spray booth. Oh, nice. Old one was almost in pieces. Ah, oh, okay. a spray booth? Nice. Corey is uh, yes, Crowley called Sam and Dean recently. I'm not that far into that series. I did start, start it, and I do like it. I guess I don't watch it uh, all the time. I'm a big fan of the old 70s uh, Coal Shack, the Night Stalkers show. and uh, Oh, yeah, I love those. Great show. So, I, it's sad. I, I remember as a kid being really scared watching that. Cause it, I mean, it's, it's that pretty, like, you know, for 70s, it's pretty scary for a TV yeah. show, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. they killed this. The suspense was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, sad, it's a shame it only lasted a season. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that show. It was only, it was only was a, one season? Yeah, only one season, like, like 18. And then, like, two made-for-TV movies. And then they tried to reboot it in the early 2000s, and it didn't work. Yeah, big fan. I was a big fan of that show, and then I was a big fan of... Uh, the first few seasons of uh, of uh, X Files, yeah, until it went to mostly government conspiracy. You know, like, eh, who cares? It's all true anyway. So yeah, it's yeah. Fun. <laughs> like none of this surprises me. And then yeah, when it's supernatural, I'm like, oh, that's kind of that's kind of cold shacky. So I like that. Yeah, that was a good series. I like supernatural. Yeah, George says, Night Stalker is a friend's favorite show. It's a good show. It has a 70s obsession. And Corey says, only full-size vehicle I'd love to build. 
is the Supernatural car, Corey. And then George goes, I love, love the early X-Files. Yeah. yeah. Early X, the first two or three seasons, and they're long seasons. They're like 24, 25 episode seasons. Well, Corey, I make a kit for it. I haven't built it yet, so I can't tell you how annoying it is to build or not. It's a new. It has to be a new tooling because it didn't like the car itself didn't exist in the four door format before they released that one. Yes, the 67 Impala with a hidden trunk. Says trunk or truck? It says truck. Truck. Yeah, it's where all the weapons are. Mm. Monster killing weapons in here. Uh, the usual. The usual stuff. Gotcha. I'd be surprised how many monsters they can kill with, like, you know, regular guns and ammo on that show. <laughs> Like the go-to is a pistol grip pump. I was watching uh, uh, last week uh, Adam Savage. He did a uh, unboxing of a kit. I guess I got it from Japan of the uh, Ghostbusters Ecto One and One Six scale. One it's enormous. Six scale. Yeah, and it's got all the lights and sounds. It's six just incredible. Remote control. I, I don't know. I think it's just like a collector's item. It's like all painted and built and it's got the LEDs and stuff, but just I'm sure that was a really expensive <laughs> kit. Well, it's not really a kit. It's all, it's all together, so it's more just like a collector's the piece. They run away. Oh, Tiffany has them. Okay. Yeah, no, that's easy. Yeah, Corey, I've seen someone scratch build the trunk and the weapons for the trunk. I couldn't tell you how they did it because I didn't want to look at it too hard. But yeah, the kit that I have, it, it would be a sealed trunk. What the heck is going on up there? Oh, that's our normal sound nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> hear that ken yeah it sounds like some supernatural sounds in, <laughs> in the background yeah that's my, that's my son playing fortnite some apparition <laughs> Your mom just got him <laughs> go get him ma I think that that's no, that's the rest of it. No, we're not done replacing this one. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna let that dry. Can't tell if uh George is saying wow from what we were just talking about or wow what he just heard. Yeah. <laughs> Play the rest of it. Yes. Click the rest of it. Says, is the earth still spinning slower or are you guys starting earlier these days? No, I don't think so. No. <clears throat> Actually, we're probably a little bit late tonight. Yeah, we are. Which, as far as I'm aware, we're not any later than normal. Or 
it says, I would love to get the first blade turned into a real blade. Also, Supernatural had the best music. Don't pay attention to soundtracks very much. They're necessary. Uh, the, to me, I, I, it gets blocked out of my consciousness. Oh, George forgot about daylight savings. Time change. You guys not have that over there? That's what I'm assuming. Getting old. Every day. It's alternative, though. All classic rock. Yeah, it probably is. I just I don't remember any of it. I probably you know while I'm watching it, I go, hey, I know that one. Or, hey, I know that one. You ask me the next day, hey, what songs were on that episode? Like I don't know. <laughs> All right, I guess I will put in the headlight lenses very carefully. We'll put in the headlight. Oh, come on. these on you Matthew the things that make you see yes ah, why would you do that <laughs> round peg goes in round hole in theory Necessarily, when you're building a model, round peg's supposed to go in round holes. I have not seen all of the show, Corey, so I don't know what the scene you're talking about. for German work. Yep. And that one slid. Awesome. What you want? No, that slid someplace I didn't want it. No, you want it. You just don't know you want it.
next time, Matthew, don't do decals while running the show. He wants to swear real badly. I do. It's my oh. least favorite part of model building. Oh. I don't mind him, except I hate real long stripes. Because they always curl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They always want to curl up on me. Yeah, I and mean, I can't. It's to the. It's almost so bad where I'll just submerge the whole body in water, because the stripes don't curl when they're in the water. So if I can get it on mm -hmm. the body, and then lift it out of the water, that seems to be the only way I can do it. So if you, if Ken, if you didn't see the latest in the Jim's laptop saga, they got the. Uh, yeah, the, I read. Did I, you? Yeah, they that they, they couldn't fix it is beyond their capability. <laughs> they say they said some like they got the ribbon cable in that still didn't fix it, and they're like, ah, we're, we're just gonna give up on this thing. That's crazy. Yeah. And that's their, supposedly that's their specialty, right? Fixing computers? Well, they're a computer repair shop, but apparently not a good one. Yeah. Apparently not. I mean, man. If it's just a bad screen, you would think that would be a pretty straightforward repair. One would think. All right, headlight lenses in. Windshield. Almost dry. I can't really do anything until I can get the glass in. I swear there was a hole for this freaking rear view mirror. But now they got the glass and there's not a hole, but there's a peg in the, in the mirror. Yeah, man, uh, when they curl, when they curl up, it makes me just want to tape it off and paint the stripe on the body. But I know the decal would look a lot nicer than my paint job. What do you do? So, uh, there's, where I work, there's a highway that runs right up to the company I work at, and uh, they are filling in, like, a, a rumble strip in, in the middle, in the center of the lane, and then they started painting two yellow lines on the center rumble strip, or where they filled in with uh, asphalt, and... It was making me dizzy, and it was making other people dizzy on the way into work, because... The lines were so wavy, it created this weird effect. <laughs> and come to find out, the, the, the truck that normally does it broke down. So the guy had to do it manually by hand, and that's why <laughs> it's so wavy. Oh. <laughs> i got to send you a picture, because it, it, uh, someone took a picture. It's just really bizarre. It's like, those that's are the fun. worst painted lines I've ever seen. That's pretty wild. Hey, Scott. It, uh, actually, without Jets, sorry, I've been a little crazy a couple last couple of weeks. Yeah, I just checked in for a minute. I'm heading off to Amps uh, International tomorrow. Nice. Up in oh, South cool. Bend. Well, say hi to Rob Riv and uh, those guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm staying in the hotel with those guys. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, yeah. That's a nut crew right there. Yeah, it is. Especially when you get TJ in yeah. there and, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, what's yeah, up? Yeah, we're having dinner. The, TJ and then we're having dinner Friday. Cool. Friday night. Well, get yeah. pictures, post them on Mono the Mats. We will. Uh, I'll sell your show. 
Okay, awesome. No, they're good, but everything going all right? Yeah, uh, this is our 150th episode. 150th? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Back so in the day when we were on... have to come, come on and, and uh, talk about my experience at AMP. Exactly. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm doing a, a phone cutting demo. They asked me to do a phone coming demo at the next meeting. Cool. Say foam? Like you know, like a hot hot foam cutter. Hot foam cutter, uh, rocks on, all that kind of stuff. Nice. A foam demonstration. So that's for the the April meeting. Yeah, so, uh, yeah and they uh, yeah they asked me to do it uh, this weekend or the other day. Yeah, nice. and then I'm gonna. Uh, what was it? I can't remember now what I was just about to say. Um, oh, yeah, no, I'm, submit, I'm entering three kits for the show. Nice. I'm, I'm going to judge. I, I volunteer to judge three different shifts. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do uh, um, two regular, one diorama, and I'm, I'm going to try to judge a figure category. Nice. Yeah, so it's funny. I was going to bring up eight kits and then I went through the, the the judges training and I quickly deleted five. Ah. Just going through the training and adjust, you know assessing my own kits. So I was like cool. Because this is gonna be gold silver gold silver bronze. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna go to IPMS Nationals which is first, second and third. So it's gonna be interesting to see the two different styles. Well, they were talking on the, uh, I was watching, I listening to the podcast today where they were talking about it, and it was like, it sounds like it's a complete, total different monster in itself. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they say it's, uh, four-man teams, uh, about, they want you to do five to six minutes per model, uh, two-hour shifts, and, uh, the, like, the fourth judge, the lowest scores get dropped. So it's a high three, and uh, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And it's uh, it's categorized like basic, junior, basic, intermediate, advanced, and master. So you get based on that criteria, you get a, the meddling. Ah, oh, cool. So I could do I can do armor and like hang with like you and like Kurt and. Some of the other armor gods from IPMS Gateway. Yeah. Kirk Kaiser. Yeah. That man, that man's crazy. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah, so I'm super excited. I'm doing laundry, getting all ready for the pack up. And we're going to be on the road about 6 in the morning and uh, get there about, I think it's one local. Okay. So, yeah. And yeah. Like I said, and then uh, everybody, you know, see if there's anything crazy there. I don't know if there's anything you guys are looking for, but there's a lot of vendors. So if you're looking for anything uh, out of the ordinary, let me know. Okay. Let's see. And I, will, oh, I just uh, picked up the uh, white whale currently. Craziness. Yeah. All right, you guys, be good. We'll talk to you guys after I get back. All right, Scott, have a good one. Safe trip, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, See ya. Oh, just brought that. Hold on a second. Just set it down. Uh, Scott just checked in. He's going to Nationals. What? For, uh, for, uh, for Amps. I'm sure you said. I told you that. You, you coming to... No. No? He sounded pretty amped for amps. He does. Let's see. AF78556. AF78556. All right, so I got the, I got the right numbers on the sales. <laughs> so you cut all the numbers and then reordered them? Reordered them. Yeah. So... <laughs> 
All right, I got that part done that I wanted to get done. Woo. I was gonna do the had some time today. I was gonna get the bracket taken care of. I went with a different look this time to give us longer lines. Oh yeah. So yeah. That'd be a little bit better. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. I got ten of them like that. I was like, yeah. Well, that's ten weeks. That'll take us into summertime. <laughs> Yeah, you're inching closer to your school year being over. I don't know. Kids want to be done. We want to be done. Okay. Yeah. April's flying by fast. the Spur Brothers list. <laughs> oh, for when you make the yeah. trip to Mecca? Yeah. <laughs> you been to their store before? I have. It's just a warehouse. Hopefully that will work. Hopefully that will work. So you can order it online and pick it up at their store? Yeah. Uh, to pay shipping? No, nah, don't pay shipping. That's pretty good. Yeah. I might have to move to Missouri just to be close to Spur Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I usually get it in the inside a week if I order it. Yeah, normally if you get, if you order on Monday, you might get it Thursday. Yeah. I've got it as fast as Wednesday. Mm. So... That's pretty good. There's a, a mail order place I use that is in New Hampshire. It's actually uh, Nashua, New Hampshire. It's about 30 minutes south of where I live. If I order it and you ship it that day, I'll have it the next day. Oh, cool. So that, yeah, and they their prices are probably like the best around, but... They don't carry like a lot of a lot of stuff, but they don't carry as much as like Spur Brothers. They, I shouldn't say they don't carry a lot of stuff. They do carry a lot of items, and and uh, they, they have some of the best prices on Tamiya stuff. Yeah. Just unbelievable, but um, the paints and things, I'll get them. And the, but their, their website is not, like, a really friendly site. Like, Spur Brothers is... They, Spur Brothers is great because if you order, for me, if I order, I think over, it used to be at 100 or $200. I think they upped it, but if you ordered $200 worth of stuff, you'd get free shipping. Uh huh. But Scale Hobby is, it's, it's $10 shipping no matter what you get. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, but that means, you know. If I buy something at twenty dollars, I gotta pay ten dollars to ship it. Right. If I spend two hundred there, I still I still pay ten twenty uh, ten dollars to ship it. There's like no price break if if you place a big order. Yeah, there's no buy X amount of dollars get free shipping or. Right, like uh, Squadron or Spur Brothers or uh, Mega Hobby. That's the other one I used to buy from a lot of. I 
I've, I've sort of scaled back my kit buying. Wait, it ain't uh, so. And, uh, well, I sold two kits this weekend on, on Scale Model Graveyard, so that was good. Yeah. Decrease, decrease the stash by two, so. <laughs> Means you buy, like, four more. <laughs> that's not even, yeah, but that's not even scratching the surface, like, how I gotta, how many I gotta sell to, to reduce the pile. Ugh. Well, even making a dent. Well, well, you need to go on to George's, uh, let's see, when George posted the video for uh, his car kits that he had. Yeah. Watch that, then click on click on his link so you can go to his page, and you can see he took video of his, his airplane stash, and he has it grouped by manufacturer. Oh wow! I gotta check that out. Yeah, you gotta. And each video is like each manufacturer, so it might be like a two-minute video, but it's like all of one one manufacturer that is pretty awesome. I watched them this afternoon. It was like, oh, I wish I had that one. Oh, I wish I had that one. Oh, how much is shipping from Australia? Okay, maybe I don't need those. <laughs> yeah, I gotta check that out. I was gonna say that was awesome, George. Yeah, I could go for that Ravel 69 Mustang you got. That one's on my list, that specific one. The uh, the dual tail lights on, on the 69 is my favorite. George says, it's embarrassing, but had to be done. Made me stop buying kits straight away. Reality check. <laughs> uh, sounds like quitter talk. Yeah. Put yourself <laughs> in the financial debt. Put yourself in the financial debt. Well, Matt had his uh, kits that he, that he bought that he didn't need. Yeah, they, uh, they were both present for that segment. Yep. Yeah. Because I remember I had... One was a gift, so, you know. Let's see. Only I got two for the price of one, in my mind. Yep. Yeah, that was a good deal. Yeah, and he was in a Hobby Lobby that was currently doing the 40% off thing that they do, like, every other week. Let's see. I got me some Unicorn Pee. Leveler, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. Get ready to tr give that a try. And after my problem with the P61 trying to be a tail sitter, even after putting like a pound of weight in it, I broke down and I brought, bought me some Liquid Gravity, which are a little tiny. I think tung <laughs> they're either tungsten or zinc, but they are. You know, when you look at this, you're like. That don't weigh nothing. And then you pick it up and you're like, oh, it's got some pep to it. So. so yeah, I feel What'd you get that? I've been trying to find that Ooh, yeah. online. I've been trying to find a place that has it's like, that. It's like buckshot. Yeah. It was a little tiny. Tiny. Uh, it was at my, uh, let's see, nearly, nearly local hobby store. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly local. <laughs> yeah, it's about 50 miles away from where I live. Yeah, I've, I've tried a bunch of places online. No one carried it. Yeah. So, got that. And then uh, got some paint. Uh, let's see. Got some paint for Tiffany. What else did I buy? It was like 70 bucks worth of stuff. Oh, I got some more. Mark Twain? No, it was uh, Shapers. Uh, that's 50 now? Yeah, about 50. Oh, I got some more. Oh. Got some more. Got some more uh, bottles of extra thin. So, you never have too many of them. So, George says MLP and gravity essential are essentials. Yeah. Corey says build a home 
four unopened kits, you get to say you're expanding your house when you buy more kits. <laughs> or build a home from <laughs> unopened kits. Ah, you could. <laughs> All right. Say, so y'all want to do some music? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So let's see. We got a George. We got we got There's a Corey. four of us. So I predict lots of uh, coin of fate. Yeah, another six. Let's see. Two on there. Two. Oh, okay. There's five of us. Never mind. Three, four, five, five, five. Okay, never mind. Nobody's on Facebook. No kit. No kids. That's sad. That's sad with you, Facebook. All right. So tonight it is the only seventeen for kits with. Food in them. And our first play in round is going to be American Pie by Don McLean versus Honey. Which I don't know who sings Honey. I think that is uh, Mariah Carey. No? I'm not familiar. At least by title alone, I am not familiar. Yes. So. So I was going to say, Matt, who are you going with? Don McLean. Don McLean. Sure. Going with American Pie. All right. Ken, you going with? What you going with? I'm going, I'm going with Don McLean. Don McLean. All right. Let's see. Corey and George. American Pie versus Honey. Corey says American Pie. Drinking whiskey and rye. Whiskey is dry. Exactly. And George says American Pie, so American Pie is going to move on. All right, so we got Blueberry Hill versus Lollipop. So, so I found my thrill. I'm going with Blueberry Hill. All right. I was just going to say, Ken, I was just going to mention you, so thank you for popping in there. Blueberry Hill. All right. Oh, I moved it on already. <laughs> Whoops. Plus, I love blueberries. Gotcha. <laughs> Are you up in the area where they grow cranberries at? Uh, it's Rhode Island, uh, so not really close to us. But Okay. My, my mom was... She was born in Rhode Island, so okay. cranberry bugs. Gotcha. But New Hampshire has lots of blueberries. So New Hampshire's known for blueberries. Yeah. Okay. Because I know, like, they're you know, not as big as one. The native ones are not big like the ones you'll find in the supermarket there. Okay. Uh, behemoth blueberries. Okay. The they're ones really that are like sweet. steroids. Yeah. The GM genetically modified blueberries. Well, I know like Michigan's known for their cherries and Washington State's known for their cherries too. And you got you know, Missouri's known for their you know, grapes. Just like California. So Alabama and Georgia for the for those peaches. So Florida oranges. Yeah, Florida oranges. Yeah. Let's see. Corey says Blueberry Hill due to putty trauma from lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Let's see, Matt you doing Blueberry Hill? Yes. Okay. All right. Looks like lollipop has no chance. Oh, and George said Hill, too, so we got that. Moving on. All right. Hey, bud. You want to move your finger? Okay. Love you. Love you. Yeah, you'll show everybody your finger. Oh. What do you do? Broke my oh. pinky. What finger. happened? He broke his basketball. pinky finger. Yeah. Yeah. Took a uh, basketball off the end of it. That lit. Ouch. Yeah. It, uh... Hyperextended, and when it did, the ligament instead of the ligament popping, it pulled a, it broke a section of bone off of his pinky finger. Fantastic. So yeah, 
How many bones you broke by now? Oh. Or how many bones have you broken by now? Uh, two. Two. Leg, mm-hmm. foot. Leg. Foot. Yeah, let let leg and pinky now. So. Two more than me. I've never broken a bone. Uh, I like it that way too. Yeah. Takes longer to heal the older you get, so get it done early. Yeah, don't want to. Yeah. All right, that's gonna sit for an eternity. All right, let's see. So next one, <laughs> George, those humans are so fragile. <laughs> How about Peaches by the band The Presidents of the United States versus Chop Suey? Yeah, by yeah, System of a Down. So that's actually a pretty tough one because he's a big fan of both. Yeah. Ken, what are you thinking? Who does Chop Suey? System of a Down. Oh, I gotta go with Chop Suey. That's uh, right. I love that song. Uh, all right. Well, I do like I do like peaches, but chop suey I like better. Uh let's see. You gonna go for a vote there, Matt? I'm gonna chop suey, I think. You go chop suey? Yeah. All right. It appeals to the heavier side of my uh, music taste. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm getting my vote in there. Corey or George? Peaches or chop suey? I'm gonna side on the peaches. Chop suey, chop suey with peaches. Gross. Peaches with chop suey. Chop suey for Corey. Peaches for Kate. <laughs> oh, Kate's gonna vote in here. Cool. And then George says suey. Suey. All right. So the chop suey moves on then. All right. And then we have the sugar bracket. So you're gonna pour some sugar on me, or are you gonna get some brown sugar? So, Def Leppard, Stones. I'm going with the Stones, brown sugar. All righty. Thank you, sir. Matt's what you going with? Def Leppard. Ah, I'm going to pour some sugar. All right. Not one of my favorites, by the way. I like photographs. Yeah, anything off of... Pyromania? Pyromania or uh name of it now. Not hysteria. Yeah. Oh hysteria. hysteria. Okay. Or high and dry. Those three albums are pretty damn good. Yeah. Let's see. Corey says pour some sugar on him and Kate. That's <laughs> an awful lot of sugar. Right That's a lot of sugar going on over there. And George says brown sugar, but pour some sugar is gonna move on. All the sugar. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Speaking of sugar, we're going to go with Rock Candy by Montrose and Sammy Hagar versus Green Onions. Triple T and the MGs. Yes. Look, you can also hear. Look at, look at this beautiful one piece nose cone in here. It's so, so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Don't have to build it. Just going to mount right on. It's got gonna, mounting points for it and everything. Look at that. Got dowel pins in there. Oh. That, don't have a hole to go into, which is weird, but at least it's a locating pad. Yeah. Sweet. What else is in here? Rear bump, rear, rear bumper. I don't know what that is. Still spoiling. Oh, oh, we lost our flash there. We lost our feed. Really? Yeah. It's not on my phone. It's on mine. Please hold. George says green onions. Corey says rock candy for Corey. Diva Las Vegas for Kate. I will go rock candy. Rock candy. Rock candy. I'm going green onions. Green onions. Let's see. So George got green onions. Ken's got green onions. 
Corey says rock candy. You said rock candy. Oh, I need to vote. All right. And Kate is a Viva Las Vegas. All right. Rock candy moves on by one. Uh, let's see. Let's go Sugar Sugar versus The Lemon Song by Led Zeppelin. Best fucking song ever. So you know, Le Lemon Song, yeah. Zeppelin. Lemon Song by African. All right. Oh, sugar, sugar. Oh, honey, honey. You're my candy girl. Nice. What the wheels look like. Ooh. Lame distributor laying in the bottom of the box. Those are cool. Nice. Let's see. Corey says sugar, sugar for both. The Archie's forever. And George says sugar, sugar. It's a tie. Ooh, black and red. And or white. Ooh. What do you think about any of these? Uh, red with white. I guess it's just the version in the head. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, the red circle is like that. Now we got a flip. We have a tie. Ooh. Shouldn't be a tie. Yeah. Because Kate's voting no. She vetoed. No. Uh, oh, they were on the move. Yeah. Sugar, sugar for both. Okay. Sugar, sugar heads. Tails. The lemon song. Uh, it's the tails. The tails. Yay! Lemon moves on. All right. This is going to be a hard one for me. Cherry pie by Warrant. Versus Strawberry Fields Forever. I like them both. So, Ken, what you thinking? I'm thinking Strawberry Fields. Strawberry Fields. All right. Matt, what you going with? Gotta be Warren. Gonna go Warren on that one. All right. So, Cherry Pie versus Strawberry Fields. Actually had the Cherry Pie Warrant t-shirt growing up. One of those ones I wish I would have never gotten rid of. <laughs> yeah, there's a few that I've had. George says Strawberry. Got him. Corey says Strawberry for him and Kate both. All right, you guys decide. So, Strawberry Fields it is. All right, well, then we got Raspberry Beret by Prince versus The Ice Cream Man by Van Halen slash David Lee Roth. I'm going Van Halen, Ice Cream Man. The ice Cream Man. Did it again. Maybe that's why I need to do it the other way. What you going with? Raspberry Beret ice or? Cream, ice Cream Man. Ice Cream Man. All right. George says Prince. It's going Raspberry. Raspberry. Raspberry Beret. Raspberry Beret. 44. Let's see. Corey can tip the, tip the tip the balance. Find out what it says. Raspberry beret. Yeah, formerly known as yes, yes. And currently known as dead. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? My goodness. Let's see. Raspberry for Kate. And ice cream for Corey. So, ice cream man moves on. 
And yes. last one here, we got Cheeseburger in Paradise by uh, Jimmy Buffett and versus American Pie, J Don McLean. You can't get any more American than that right there. Murph. Oh, the bald eagle <laughs> screeches overhead, followed by a bunch of F-15 eagles. That'd be great. So. <laughs> Ken, what you thinking? I'm going. I'm going with the cheeseburger in paradise, man, because I love cheeseburgers. Gotcha. Uh, Matt, what you doing? Uh, cheeseburger in paradise, or bye bye, Miss American Pie. I will go American Pie. See George Corey Kate. Not necessarily in that order. Uh, let's see if George goes with pie. Let's see. Cheeseburger for Corey. Pie for Kate. And we have a tie. Okay. Heads of cheeseburger, tails pie. Heads. Heads. So cheeseburger moves on. Yeah. All right. All right. So. Cheeseburger, get cheeseburger, get cheeseburger. <laughs> cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Oh, what's the, what's the, so he says that three times and I was like, what, no, no I Coke? Can't, I can't remember, I can't remember. No the, Coke, uh, Pepsi. No, Pepsi, yeah. No Coke, Pepsi. 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 <laughs> That's right. No Coke, Pepsi. Pepsi. All right, so we got Blueberry Hill versus Chop Suey. <laughs> George is making me hungry. Uh -oh, it's your lunchtime. What'd you go with, Ken? Uh, Chop Suey, definitely. Chop, Chop Suey? All right. Matt? Chop suey. Chop suey. All right. Let's see. George Corey Kate. Let's see. George is going with Blueberry Hill. On Blueberry Hill. That's all I remember of the song that he sang. <laughs> and Corey says Chop Suey for him and Kate. So Chop Suey moves on. All right. Oh, another hard one. We have Rock Candy. Versus pour some sugar on me. Depending on how hot you are, you could make rock candy out of that sugar. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, I got my vote in. Ken, what you think? I'm going to go with rock candy. Nice. Matt, what you doing? I'm going to go pour some sugar on me. All right. See what the boy and the boys and the girls say. You're rock candy, baby. Oh, pour some sugar on both yeah. those. All right, we have a tie. Uh oh. Yep. Okay, heads rock candy, tails pour some sugar. Heads. Heads. Rock Candy moves on. All right. Oh, then we got Strawberry Fields versus the Lemon Song. Ah, Ken? I'm going with the Lemon Song. Lemon Song? Matt? Lemon Song all the way. Lemon Song? 
Strawberry Fields of the Lemon Song. Word says lemon. Lemon. Kitchen carburetor. You ever had lemon cello? No. No. It's yummy. Tastes a lot like lemon pledge. <laughs> <laughs> I used to make uh, le lemon ice cream with lemon cello in it. Oh, how's that? Corey, uh, Kate, it was Kate, really good. Very lemony. Very lemony. Nice. Yes. Lemon moves on, four to two. And then finally, in the last round here, we have Cheeseburger in Paradise versus Ice Cream Man. So if you eat your Cheeseburger in Paradise, you can then go to the Ice Cream Man. Who said? Why can't well, I have my ice cream first? Well, you can have your ice cream first. You don't? Yeah. If you don't eat your feet, you can't have any pudding. That's right. <laughs> I don't want pudding, I want ice cream. I want ice cream. <laughs> A loophole. Actually, I like some nice Dole Whip from Dana's. Oh, every time I go there, I always get a mint Oreo, like, hurricane or whatever. Uh -huh. uh, and then I'll ask them to throw some, like, uh, cheesecake bits in. Nice. They had a... Can't be doing that all the time. They had strawberry... They had, they had strawberry Dole Whip, and I had them mix the cheesecake bites in it. It tasted like... Literally like strawberry cheesecake. It was nice. pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Love cheesecake. Big cheesecake fan. Let's see. Corey says cheesecake for him. Let's see. Cheeseburger. Sorry, not cheesecake. Cheeseburger. <laughs> and Kate Viva Las Vegas did. So let's see. And George says ice cream man. All right. Ken, what you going with? Was it, was it ice cream? I'm ice going cream with man the ice what? cream man. Ice cream man. All right. Cheese and what he put Cheeseburger, cheeseburger in Paradise, Ice oh, Cream Ice Cream Man. Man. Ice Cream Man. Man. Alright. You know, they got all the flavors that guarantee to satisfy. That's right. So, Ice Cream moves on. Alright, so our final four. We got Chop Suey versus Rock Candy. And we got the Lemon Song versus Ice Cream Man. So, let's go to the final one. We'll do Rock Candy versus Chop Suey. Ken, what you going with on that one? I'm going with Chop Suey. Chop Suey. Matt, what you going with? Is Chop Suey in what? Rock Candy. Chop Suey. Chop Suey. Oh, wait That's for the... very detailed kit. That's a Ravel one. As I opposed know. to an AMT kit where he has... Well, some... even for a Ravel kit, there's a little more, more bits and pieces here. Like, I actually have a power steering pump. Ooh. Yeah, wow. I need to take an inventory. Uh, so far, I have only looked at the carburetor. I've got all this I want to see. I didn't make it into the kit. Uh, but I have bags of parts for the breed. So. Okay. Plus, the air cleaner goes over top of it. So even if I bring uh, something that'll work, it won't go in here. So, And I'll go to another. 54. Uh, we got Chop Suey. We got... And Corey says, chop suey for both of them with a side of lo mein. No lo mein. No <laughs> substitution. <laughs> All right. So then we got Ice Cream Man versus the Lemon Song. That's a tough one. I know. Can you go on lemon or ice cream? Oh, lemon man. Uh, I got to go with lemon. No. Zeppelin. Going with lemon, all right. Going with lemon. Matt, what you going with? I think I still have to go lemon. I go lemon. All right. George says lemon. Corey and Kate, ice cream man versus the lemon song. Always take inventory of open kits. Got that. <clears throat> All right, next. 
I had one where I opened it up, thought I had everything, and then I realized I was missing the entire canopy out of it. Well, it's one of those where I don't want to build it and then get halfway through the build and like, where is the... And then, you know, have to source one. Right. So I'd rather do that first. Especially with this kit. Yeah. 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 Maybe I can steal the carburetor out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you probably can. Let's see. Well, my looks are probably different scales. AMT does a lot of 120s, but for some reason. Kate's doing Viva the Las Vegas, and Corey's doing the Lemon Song. All right, that's the time for. So we got Chop Suey versus Lemon as our final. Ken, what are you going with? Oh man! I say y'all created this um, on your own. <laughs> yeah, uh, we 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 walked right into that one. Yeah. Um. Do the thing. Oh, I'm I'm gonna have to say, lemon song. Lemon song. All right. I do have a nice groove. Matt, what you going with? Lemon or chop suey? Yeah, I gotta go lemon. Gotta go lemon. All right, too good a groove. <laughs> All right, George, Corey, what you doing? Lemon or chop suey? Seven. All right, let's see. Corey says chop all the way from the Phillips duo. All right. And George says, chop, we have got a tie oh, no. for the final. Oh, no. So let's see. We got lemon for heads, chop suey for tails. Let's see. It's going to be tails. tails, top suey. I like both songs, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. But let's see. We do have a chance that let's see. Cheeseburger in Paradise, Ice Cream Man, Strawberry Fields, Lemon Song, Rock Candy, Pour Some Sugar, Chop Suey, and Blueberry Hill could make it into the food versus drink. Nope. So we will we will see if that happens. But Chop Suey is our winner for tonight. So awesome. I gotta listen to Chop Suey again then. That's all there, minus one little piece I don't care about. So there we go. Corey goes, woohoo, Kate is very happy. Well, I'm glad we can make Kate happy and put a smile on her face. <laughs> That's what we do here at Miles and Mats. We model and we put smiles on people's faces. Let's see, we have oh. the clear part. Well, let's go back to Declan a little bit. I was able to kind of release a little stress and tension in me from doing it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> right, steering wheel slash steering column. Yeah, I, I managed to mess up on my my riveting, so... Oh, no! I, I'm done for the night. Uh, <laughs> you gotta fill, fill it and redo it? Oh, just one, one shot. Yeah, yeah. No, not a big deal. Just... It wasn't from the riveting. I was trying to scribe a line, uh -huh. and I actually scribed two lines. So one of the lines I have to get rid of. So I got some filler in there now, but nothing major. Gotcha. Well, I I am you now calling it a night. So uh, you guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend. Yep, we will. You too. Uh, How's your decaling going? We won't, we won't see uh, Matt next week. He is off because, uh, let's see. At wedding. He's got, he's got, he's getting married next Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I won't be on the following week. Oh, I'll congratulations. Be yeah, he's going to be in Mexico the following uh, week. Next two great. weeks, we'll be modeling oh, with Matt. Have a, yes. Have a great. That's awesome. Have a great honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yep. Next week, I already got it filled in. We got, okay. we'll, be jo we'll be joined okay. by the teddy. Beautiful. So, <laughs> yep. All right, Ken. See you, man. All right, got that right. in there. Yeah, have a good one, you guys. Yep. Model on, sir. Do I have seats? Looks like I have seats and seat backs. Okay. 
Red Riff. All right. Waiting for others to join the call. So we can ring the group again. Why not? Let's ring the group. Head Riff, some Head Riff third. Check, 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 you check. All right. So far, we're only missing one in the semi important part. Even then, it's not really that important. Oh, Corey's out too. Oh, okay. Battery's dying. Talk to you later. All right. See you, Corey. Thank you, sir. All right, we got glass. I got glass on it. All right. I'm already accounted for the glass. Gym is required. No kidding. We need the gym. UV mirror. That's a chrome bit for sure. I don't know. I saw I saw it's a picture there. of uh, Jim's one-to-one uh, -one scale kitchen earlier. Uh, he's got some work to do. Yeah, you got it. They got it ripped apart. That's for sure. They got it. They got it down all the way to the uh, subfloor. Oh my! I'm not gonna put that on. Who the heck's looking in up at the roof? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, all that's accounted for. Molded in there. Three feet three mirror. <laughs> oh yeah, so he would have definitely liked tonight's list. He actually helped come up with it the other, uh, the other week. Was that last week we were working on it? Yeah. Because it was food versus drink, and then it was all food, all drink. Yeah. I forgot to put one on for drink. Radiator, shroud. I don't know how I forgot it, too. And Horns, thirty of them. Yeah, we're gonna take that one off. Up oh, there's Corey. Hello, sir. <laughs> I was getting ready to log off because my battery was going dead. Then all of a sudden, my Skype started ringing on my phone. Uh so is your phone dead, or did you plug it in? No, it's about to die. Oh, okay. I got to get a hold of the nurse to see if they got a charger here, because we weren't planning on spending the night. Gotcha. I understand, sir. So, I, I turned the phone over to let you say hi to Kate, but I Kate does not want to be on camera right now. Gotcha. I understand. So, yeah. I understand, sir. Great. Great, great, great! Only seventeen tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some, some special for our hundred fiftieth episode. Come on now. Oh yes. My, my lovely bride was just sitting there and wasn't really participating. Yeah, it's still only seventeen. And then you said, "Pour some sugar on me." And all of a sudden, we had a participant. <laughs> Good. She's she can participate anytime she wants. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna include her in future shows. Awesome. So, all righty. Well, that, I am going to get back off of here. I just wanted to tell you guys, great show. Congratulations on 150th. Uh, Matt, man, congratulations on taking the vows, yeah, brother. Man. Yeah. I, I pray that you exceed the years Kate and I have been together, which is going to be 30 in July. Ooh. And just, I wish you nothing but blessings and prosperity. Thank you. I appreciate so, that very much. Awesome. All right, man. Then, yep, I'll get all of here. You guys have a great night, okay? All right, man. Me too. Uh, See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh, there's seven. All right. Okay, 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 okay. There's no escaping for Corey. Nope, there is not. Mm. So. 77, shop observer. Oh. Don't. Let go. So, George, you working on anything? Or are you uh, working hard? Seven, seven. Single. That's crazy. Oh, there's a 
Let's see. 218. Gene number 18. I don't think this thing can work. Oh, there we go. And that's accounted for. And those entires are already been done. Except for the backs of the wheels. Uh, work, work now. Um, oh, we can always cl clean this hobby room. Yeah, I reorganized my uh, display cases and cleaned out three drawers. That was very, very nice. It was a very good time. I felt productive. <laughs> but did nothing down here. <laughs> shocker board. We've got shocker board. We've got differential. We've got leaf strings. We've got drive strings. Is it, ah, uh, yeah, I found a one-to-one -one scale blue tongue lizard under my bench. Huh. Is that pretty common to find a reptilian in the household in Australia? Uh. I have to get a different ruler to show you how long it was. I knew I saw the drive shack. Where'd it go? He uh, he said it was uh, uh, forty centimeters long. <laughs> That's a decent sized uh, reptilian there. <laughs> Not common for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I had to get a different ruler. That's only goes thirty. <laughs> How to get in there? I say you don't have any like small furry furry woodland creatures or anything. Oh, I'm kidding. Made its way into the garage. Gotcha. I did not realize. Chins. I don't want to put the chin spoiler on there. All right. Chin spoiler. Done. No, it's not worth it. Get off of that. I know I have the piece, but I'm just going to put it in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. How to catch and release. PSD. Man. <laughs> Timmy's getting a little anxious with my little friend. I can always tell when she's like, I love you. <laughs> it's like, I love you. I will kill you if you don't stop. I'm pushing it's only insects. Some I'm pushing your luck there, buddy. Kind of smaller than an iguana. Okay. I know in Mexico, iguanas are referred to as walking chicken. They call them chow chowchuas. I don't know why I'm looking for them. I don't need them in this, but. Which one, Martin? Oh, it was a little chin spoiler because it's um, hideous. Look on, look for the card. Like I know I have the part, but I keep my it's out there. It's too hideous. Yeah, no easy pick. Fender suit. I could go either. Well, no. Fender suits could go either way on those. So how was the bachelor party? Good time. Good time. Good. Didn't get crazy. You know, we had some. Good time with some bros. That's yeah. good. Good food. There we go. Go to Wings of Blazing? No, we went to a place called Zydeco. It's a Cajun restaurant. Oh. But I said I wanted a steak, and they had steak. It was pretty good steak. All right. Pretty decent steak. Night at Harmony? 
Yes. Yeah, okay. That's a new-ish place, I guess. I've never been there, but I don't really hunt them very, very much. Alright, that's their parking lot ranger. That would be a clear park. Which is... Tyler tells me that uh, the D&D &D was nice. It was. With a small small group. Yeah, it was her, Tiffany, Caitlin, Dan, Dan me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Tiffany. Yeah. So it was good. He said anything embarrassing happened? No. No? No. Nope, no, uh, no hangover like uh, shenanigans. No face tattoos, no... No, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're all nearing completion of the game. So, who's your friend who's got the mustache? I will be just, a little more specific. Ju just mustache, not John. I know John. That's Joe. Okay. He is a former, well, I don't know if he's still active in the fire department or not, but. That's hence the stash. Gotcha. No oh, transparent red. That is a problem. I don't have any transparent. Well, is it set telling me to paint it transparent red, or is it saying it is transparent red? Because I have no transparent red parts. Missing the taillights. Uh oh. But I can't tell if that's saying that these parts are are trans molded in transparent red, or it's telling me to paint it in transparent red. Uh, one ten. Does say one ten. see what the end piece looks like on it. Yeah. <clears throat> Rest tent is the fire tent trim builder and back of the Said maybe mix a drop of red in with some future uh, Here at the Hobby Cave we have Clear Red, X-27. It's here to serve. Okay, bumpers. Put license plates on any of your cars, do you? I don't put the decals on them, no. Oh, okay. But if it has like a license plate, um, like plaque or something, do you put those on? You put those on? Depends if it uh, looks naked without it. No, do you brush paint indicator colors? Yeah, yeah. If I use transparent red and transparent orange for that, sometimes the kits come with the decals for it, so you don't got to do that, and sometimes they don't. 
but I will try. I use a toothpick most of the time and do that. That's what I did on the cooler. Okay, I don't care about the hood hinges because that's not my place to get the hood up. Let's take the hood all the way off. Have a hood. Have those even though I don't care about them. Uh, I know I have those hoses, hoses, whatever. Upper rad hose. Upper rad hose 51, 51. Should be checked. to blue yep don't matter <laughs> and you mathematically eliminated his warp healing <coughs> needs 105 that is a Jordan special clear how did he get clear Third two. Like your maker. Third two wants to make check. Trying to break through here. I'm pretty sure I saw that. George, anything cool or exciting going on at work? Boring and chrome. Got two chrome door handles, one tin and one quill. Parts for the game. I do it with the special suits and not the thing. Battery check on the thing. Seems seven bucks for this. I might even get the I wasn't getting the IP at least, but I might be getting these. Making video sequences cool. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Some hood filling decals. Wednesdays, get to see real people. Gotcha. Super D. Well, what why do I have all two masks for whatever reason? Be for the different character. Molded hair. Let's see. 
One, two, three. Three RT chrome badges with no trade for chrome. Makes sense there was no RT there. No chrome. Alright, this nice thing is that I have a build going on. Spray something and glue something during lunch break. Well, that's Here's good. A license plate for you that's 69.1. Oh, there you go. Alright. I guess that's in reference to, but. Huh. Them would mean something else. I had no idea what this was for either. It doesn't go on the tip. Hmm. Alright, everything accounted for except for red chrome. Two belts and pulleys, different part numbers, but they're in the they're the exact same piece. Yeah. All right, let me do a quick. Yeah, I totally understand that, George. My wife works from home too. She owns her own business. Yeah, face the bill it out of the box. Mine is smooth, mine is somewhat shaky. No options? I might leave those off. Gotcha. And sand it down. Yeah, no chin strap. Oh yeah. Oh the the blue. That's nice. One time yeah, I like that too. It's the first time I ever doing it in flight. That was actually Marion's idea to do that. So 
Yeah. Well, I gotta have it. I'm doing it in flight, and according to IPMS rules, is if you are showing it in flight, it must have a pilot, unless you cannot see into said canopy. So that's why it went blue. So we will see. aftermarket or no i'm seeing it. i could probably find the parts i need for it but the amt one to see if they're both the same scale which is good wonder if i can file the pack away till i get home to open it up and see if it works as long as they're both the same scale Ravel used to be. Yes, no? Yeah, that was a that's high end Ravel. I'm gonna build my one of my MTC kits and see if that's all about. I haven't built an MTC car kit. <laughs> Ever? Mm -mm. Oh. That's not from my recollection. I got that and I got one Lindbergh 72 Challenger kit. <laughs> we'll say you do that, do that one. Let me know. And I have a Lindbergh 1940 convertible over here. Probably a train wreck. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I have, if I, I'm sure I opened it up, but I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> that could be good. If I would have remembered something, it probably would have been a negative. I told Teddy, I go, hey, Matt's going to be on his, let's get ready for his wedding. You want to come over for mom? He's like, yeah, I've been trying to figure out how I could get over there. He's been going and uh, taking additional karate classes because he wants to advance higher than his belt is now. Mm -hmm. Grab over your bag, dum dum. All right, uh, bowl. A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. I'm gonna wipe it out. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not doing anything. Oh, okay. I gotta take some water. Might as well put that in my bag. Gotcha. Elmer's clear glue for the Elmer's. Gotcha. Because I think it's 
do where it's not supposed to be. You can wash off that and it is just the echo. I need to start making a habit of tinting windshield glass because that'll hide all the imperfections in the glass. All right. So you have a recommended way of doing it? Uh, spraying the inside of the glass with black. Just don't, like, make it, you know, a full coat. Oh, okay. Like a half coat. Let's say I got. If they made like clear black, that would be smoke. Uh, that might work. I'd have to. I'd have to test it. Probably would. Cause this is the closest to clear black there is. Yeah, if they made a clear black, that would be awesome. <clears throat> because it's right after X nineteen. That you start getting into your clears, your clear reds, your clear orange, clear blue, because that's all 25, 23, 26, 27. So those are all your clears. And then you got clear gloss is 22. So just shows you there. I'd try the smoke for sure. Some people say you can do it with a sharpie, but I haven't tried that. That just seems a little. I don't think it would be even. I think it would look streaky. Yeah. Who did it? I did it on the. I did it on the DP. I can't remember how I did it. I think I painted it. Well, I did. I think I painted the entire inside of it. Well, not the entire inside. I think I did it by just painting it black, black, but it made the transparent. Oh, gotcha. Like identification markings or anything like that. So, so we ain't gonna do them because I ain't gonna cut them up that small. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not trading.
たらどうかな、うん、どうなるかな、うん、ちょっと。How's my group going to school? It's going pretty good. They're,、uh, a lot of them are getting finished up with、uh, their stuff. So、uh, we're also getting close to the end of the year. I have one kid who's been doing the Jolly Roger by Ravel like all year long. And he's like, Can I just get this done? Because it said it was a level two kit. Well, it's more like a level eight kit that is done by Ravel in the 1960s. So it's having its problems. But he's soldiering on and getting it done. Well, don't worry, it just gets worse from here. Yeah. But hope they'll have some more.、Uh, I have one student. He lost the、uh, um, canopy for a Raptor, 172nd Raptor. And we've decided that、uh, we're going to do it as he's going to take the ejection seat and glue in a pilot and put him as the pilot is punching out and ejecting. There you go. So. Problem solved. Yeah, problem solved. Don't need a canopy when it's like, you know, 400 feet behind the airplane. I love next year if I could get some people to come and, you know. Maybe Skype with us or something like that and talk about their modeling and stuff like that. So maybe in the future. Nephew is part of a robotics team. Cool. We have one of those in our school, too. Oh, that'd be cool. A bunch of our, model, a bunch of our、uh, scale model kids are, are in the、uh, robotics team at our school. Yeah, unbox it. Unbox、okay. that. Brand new,、oh. so I don't have to worry about their stuff being missing. But... Like I said, is this a level two? Level five? Oh. oh. Five part count. Yeah. They have a paint guy on the side now, too? Wow.、Hmm? Yeah. Ravel paint guy. Wow. Schaefer's has that stuff now, but it's all in like little tiny pots. Like the Humbrol? Yeah. Is that enamel then, I guess? Or no? No, they have both. Can't just do it like that. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you to pop that box open and be like mottled in lime green. I don't think any of these like, newer kits they get molded in color anymore. I don't have like a vision for one of these in my head. I haven't really researched it a whole lot. Reactor bags.、Yeah. Ooh, we got actually an interior for a、uh, wood painter. That's not bad. Oh. Black and white stripes. Ooh, some decals for the tie. That's nice. Ooh. What's that? A、uh, fire star one. I will say the one time I had a kit where the lettering was molded onto the tire and I whited it out, that looked really nice.、Mm. I did like that. Let's see, we got painters. Well, that's not what I was doing. None of the rest of the stuff that's what I was doing. Yeah, they're still paint guys. I thought I was going to say part count total, but it doesn't matter.
Why did you skip numbers? Because I don't like I did, I did skip too many numbers. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, uh, gotcha. seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, gotcha. So why did you do that? Yep. Hey, look at that transmission sound. Kind of pumped up for this. Now, for our ro robotics kids in my school, they uh, they actually do the programming. They already come pre-assembled, but then they program what it does. So that's their their big thing they do. Yeah, it's got gauge decals. I don't see that. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. I like it when I get decals for the gauge. Yeah, I would say this is only a level five just because art count. Art count. I'll say the spoiler on these are, are interesting. Doesn't look like every other spoiler I've seen. They're a painted spoiler. Look at that. It's kind of like a weird shape. You know, I have to Google. 442s. Let's find one I like. Definitely won't be Puke 7 or Dream, that's for sure. Ugly. Ugly. Right. Ain't got no alibi ugly. Let's see. Google. It went and it fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch going yeah, down. Yeah, that's not a good color. 1971 Olds. Yeah, Cutlass. What's that mean? My buddy was black. Cutlass or 442? 442. Mm, red's nice. Now I'll do the GSX. I want the the Buick GSX kit. I want to get. I'm gonna do it in the yellow and black, yellow and black Hell Cat. So it's not gonna be. It's honestly probably the same kit. I'm gonna do that just just black and gold. There's a real one in that color. That color? Ugh. No good. Gold. No. Blue's not bad. Yeah, that's red. Rust brown. Green. Yeah, black and red. I don't have red for cat, so I don't know. And gray. Gray and black. No, that's pretty good. I haven't done a gray car. I might be the winner. I might do a gray. I say you do that one, and I'll do this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll get a, I don't know, I'll get, uh, I'll ask Jim his favorite color, shade of Gary. Yeah. Yes, they are almost like Legos. Gray, gray and black, black roof maybe. Yeah, that's a nice color. Try to hang down a little bit. Yeah, that's a good color. Yeah, maybe gray with a black, black roof. That's a nice color. So it is written. So it shall be done. Yeah. All right. Well, about that five time. till. Yeah, I, don't, I better not continue on. I really can't until that windshield dries. And that'll take a day or two. Oof. Bet. And then obviously it doesn't dry very fast. But it's easier to get out of the. I 
jacking up two claws. Okay. I think you'll miss them. No, nah, you'll be fine. On that afterwards. Oh, something like that. Nice. A lot of things accomplished tonight. Like doing that. Yeah, it's nearing. As soon as that glass dries, I can just hammer it out and get it done. I think, guys, I think we're right ready to sign off. I don't know why I can't get rid of the waiting for others to join. Permanently on there. Yeah, it's pretty permanently on there. So I suppose if we get anybody to join on after uh, Ken left, or after Corey left. Uh, so next week is going to be me and Teddy as Mac gets ready for his wedding, which uh, uh, a lot of the Molly and Mac crew here locally are going to be part of. So it's pretty Just cool about that. GM, I think. Yeah. I still consider Steve part of it too. He he was there for a while. He came down for a oh, while. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He helped with rocket and everything yeah. for a bit. Yeah. And Stan came down with his uh, old three D printer lightsaber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. A couple times. So. Yeah. If, if the budget were unlimited, you know, I'd have a lot more people there that I did to invite. But you know. Right. Not made of money. Right. Understand. So. So yeah, that's what it's going to be for next week. But uh, thank you for all for everybody who was able to join us for our 150th episode. So kind of left it as a surprise. So I, I was counting it up this, this evening. Uh, so uh, kind of excited about that. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for Ken joining us and Corey and George here in the, uh, in the uh, live chat. Have an awesome wedding. Catch you guys both next time. All right, George, have a good day at work. We're going to bed. You have a good afternoon. So as always, I'm Matt. And I am Matt. And this has been Model to Matt's. Model on, guys. Catch you later.